Crypto has always been a narrative driven space. Time and time again, we've seen how a single unsuspecting tweet from Elon could send the market soaring or tumbling. I mean, in fact, Dogecoin season back in 2021 pretty much started out because of Elon's tweets. And then there was also the food coin season in the DeFi summer days of 2020, the play to earn JPEG season of 2021. And as good as those days were, they're already in the past. Narratives come and fade just as quickly and you need to be on top of your game to ride the wave. So that begs the question, what are the top new crypto narratives of 2023? Okay, let's start out with the obvious here, LSD. LSD is what everyone on crypto Twitter is raving about. LSD. The recent crackdown by the SEC on centralized staking services offered by companies such as Coinbase, Qcoin and the likes has only driven more users towards decentralized options like Lido, Rocketpool, Anchor, Stakewise and others. And many foresee that liquid staking will only become even more popular after ETH withdrawal is enabled after the update. So as we get closer and closer to Shanghai in March, interest and excitement in this area are likely to intensify. Okay, then this has been another big one in 2023, all thanks to the rise of our future overlord, ChatGPT. The AI wave has fully taken over crypto. Now, most projects that have even the most remote association with AI have been tossed into the spotlight and graced by green soaring prices. And inspired by this turn of events, several new AI meme coins started popping up, spearheaded by image generation protocol, image generation AI, and many, many other copycats. Then the AI narrative really turned up the heat after news broke of Microsoft's ChatGPT purchase and Google's investment in another AI chatbot, Bard. Now every other crypto project is eager to slap on the AI label to ride on the hype train. What is this? Hype? The hype. So artificial intelligence is a promising technology with a bright future for sure. But it's worth noting that many current AI projects in the cryptocurrency field lack significant substance or practical applications. So we'll see how long this hot trend will last in the space. Arbitrum is dominating the L2 narrative with 1.42 billion total value locked. It is now the fourth largest ecosystem in crypto behind only Ethereum, BSC and Tron. And yes, that also puts it ahead of other household giants like Polygon, Avalanche and fellow L2 competitor Optimism. So a large part of Arbitrum's rise can be attributed to its crop of native protocols like GMX, Radiant, Jones Dow, Camelot and more. GMX alone is contributing over 30% of the total ecosystem liquidity and has been one of the key reasons, if not the key reason, for Arbitrum's popularity. Then there is also the rumor of Arbitrum's token airdrop coming soon. And yeah, that has spurred even more attention and activities from the users as they're all in the hopes of getting a slice of the airdrop pie. When will it come? Well, we don't know yet, but Arbitrum is filled with many interesting opportunities that we can explore while we patiently wait. If you've been in crypto for the past few months, you have seen the term real yield being tossed around randomly by every other project out there. But where did this come from? What does it mean? Well, it all goes back to GMX from Arbitrum again. So the idea of real yield is that you can earn a portion of a protocol profits as yield, as opposed to the unsustainable liquidity incentives propped up by the projects themselves profitable protocol, sustainable revenue model, put these together, that's how you get real yield. So the idea itself isn't new, but GMX managed to package it into a catchy phrase and popularized it as the protocol caught on fire. Now, real yield has spread far and across crypto, but remember, not everything is always as it seems. Then open editions. So open edition drops aren't new. In fact, they've been around as early as 2021 when NFTs started gaining steam. 
Fast forward to late 2021, and we had the largest NFT drop ever, PAX Open Edition Merge Collection, which sold for nearly 92 million. Since then, the NFT market has quieted down, but recently, Open Editions are back in style, and in this new and revised meta, Open Editions NFTs are usually sold for at a low account, possibly $10 or less. Most of these NFTs can then be burned at a later date to redeem an evolved version of the same NFT. So this gamification helps create a perpetual demand for the collection, as collectors often need to burn more than just one NFT to get the next edition. One of the most popular open editions, Checks by Jack Butcher, has generated more than 6 million trading volume to date. And it's not just one either. So thanks to this, NFT marketplace Manifold's volume has skyrocketed in recent days as more and more creators launch their projects on the platform. With NFTs back in demand, attention on NFT Fi is also growing as we see more and more need to unlock NFTs liquidity. Here we have another NFT narrative, and this time we're turning our lens onto the father of crypto itself. Bitcoin, you heard that right, Bitcoin. Bitcoin NFTs have been around as early as 2014, but this time around, the attention is more unique. So thanks to Ordinals, assets such as JPEGs and even video games can now be inscribed directly on Satoshis on the Bitcoin blockchain without a need for a side chain or additional tokens. So that sounds cool, but the controversies of ordinals have driven a wedge in the Bitcoin community. So on one side, we have users applauding the innovation and the positive effects this has brought about. But then on the other hand, we have Bitcoin enthusiasts decrying the callous use of Bitcoin's security feature. Well, regardless, the fact is that Bitcoin NFTs are soaring in popularity with already more than 11,000 of them minted to the network at the time of writing. Okay, then Ethereum needs L2s to scale. As of now, we've seen L2s utilizing optimistic rollups in action that includes Arbitrum and Optimism, but there's another type of rollup called ZK rollup, which many have proclaimed to be the next biggest thing for Ethereum. While Ethereum utilizes on-chain activities to process transactions and validate blocks, ZK rollups will also introduce off-chain functionalities, which will help to make transactions faster and also cheaper. And in typical crypto fashion, one of the main reasons why the ZK narrative is gaining momentum is due to airdrops. Many are expecting upcoming token launches by ZK ecosystems such as ZK Sync, Starknet, and Polygon's ZK EVM sometime this year. This has also resulted in other ZK-related protocols such as Mina Protocol and Immutable X outperforming the market too. With so many catalysts in place, the ZK narrative is definitely one to look out for this year. So there you have it, seven of the top crypto narratives to look out for in 2023. Remember, crypto can be extremely volatile. Narratives can wane just as quickly as they appear. So always DYOR as I do my own research and make sure you do not get blinded by the hype. So we made a few videos about the trends that I just talked about, such as on real yield, layer twos and LSDs, which we've linked in the description below. So be sure to check them out if you want to dive deeper. To end on a side note, if you've ever wondered who will come on top in a boxing showdown between CZ and Vitalik, well then check out our video right here where I ask ChatGPT some of the spiciest questions in crypto.